Yesterday I spent time on Real Madrid and trying to find out what really makes Real Madrid so, so, so good, especially in the Champions League. And, the, and there's two games that I watched. It's a, it's a game against uh, Liverpool where they went to Anfield and they won 5-2. I watched the game to see what schemes, what uh, organizational forms they had. And then uh, you check when they go to, to, to host Liverpool at the Santiago Bernabeu. They play, they play the game as if he, 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 their lives depend on it, as if they don't have a heavy score that they can fall on and, and use as a cushion. And that was the biggest lesson. The biggest lesson was that, and uh, it's something we've delivered to the players this morning. We've, uh, we've, we've addressed from a, from a psychological perspective what we need to, to have. And uh, for sure, it will be like Neo says, it will be a very difficult game because uh, you, you don't even have to go very, very far to, 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 to understand that. Because last season, or two, se two years ago, we played the very same football club, okay, of course, uh, not, not with home ground advantage, but we played them in the, in the group stages and we beat them. But they came to Pretoria and they, they beat us. So we, we know that they are, they are a team that's, that's uh, and there's only two teams that have done that in the Champions League. Uh, and they are one of the two. So, so we have to know that they can beat us and we have to be at our best. We have to know the, the quality that they have. Can do is number one international for 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 Algeria. Uh, Belkatir, the right back, is number one uh, right back for Algeria. Uh, Laufi, number one left back for for Algeria. Mrzaik didn't uh, the number five didn't start, but he's he and Drauri, Drauri, the number six they start and they are number one double pivot for Algeria. So you already named five six players that play. Uh, top international games for 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 their national team, and 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 so you you understand how, how complex this game can become if we if we don't uh, have the right approach from a, from a psychological perspective. And then on Peter, well, you will run out of superlatives uh, to to address the the human being, the person that he is. Um, it is it is true when they say that to be a good footballer you need to be a good human being and Peter is testimony of that. But of course, again, uh, individual individual awards within a sporting context, especially in football, are only a means of a representation of the support and the work that you are given from your teammates. And uh, without uh, without appreciating the the contributions, the assists, the work of the of of his teammates and the people around him. With the coaches and, uh, and 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 everybody associated with the football club, it becomes very impossible to 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 celebrate the 100 goals. So, in in a moment of congratulating Peter, I'd like to also congratulate the team for their contribution and their help towards helping Peter reach an incredible milestone. When you when you start to sign for Sundowns, this is the type of games that you're actually looking forward to. You know, whether you're playing at home or away. Uh, but the most important thing is that. Uh, we shouldn't be nervous, you know. Uh, we, we, we top footballers. We, we make sure that we improve every game. Uh, they might be a threat, you know, and then they 12th they men playing away is always going to be there behind them because uh, going through our analysts, we know that we, it was 41,000 against 26 of us and then uh, with a little bit of supporters that was also there. Uh, but then we, we, we stuck together and then Unfortunately, you just you, you, when you sign for Mamelodi Sundowns, you, you're actually looking forward to those type of games to build your character, to be consistent in also the performances that you that you uh, uh, deliver for the team, and also uh, our supporters are also going to play a, a very big part as as I encourage them to also like come in numbers, just like the game that we played at home against uh, Al Ahly. Uh, uh, it's also an, it's an advantage for us, uh, and, and I'm just happy that we co could get our our end. Uh, uh, away, so that so that we can actually be a little bit of an advantage playing at home, and also coming this side and also making sure that we get the result. The players look for me. When the players look for me, they have to find the cons a consistent coach. When we win, I say next match, 24 hours. When we draw, I say next match, 24 hours. When we when we lose, because football is about winning, losing or drawing. And when we lose, I have to be the same coach that says next match, 24 hours. So from day one, we try as, as best as possible to say 
next match. So we, our energies, our, our, our focus is on the next match, and that's the most important match. Well, we, we approach it the same. Um, um, I said before, and I'll say maybe again, uh, reiterate, it's, it's not an obsession, the Champions League. Um, you know, the, the, not so long ago with the Netbank Cup, you were telling me about how your boss came to your office. And, uh, and uh, I, 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 you put these things into, into context because it's, this is life. Football is a, is a microscopic reflection of, of, of society. And then I say to you, when your boss comes to your office, how, how often does your boss come into your office and give you a promotion or a raise, salary increase? Very often. But does, does that mean you are not one of the best journalists and very good at your job? No. So, so you guys have also, in, the, in your own space, you have, you have uh, uh, media awards, for an example, Journalist of the Year, uh, Scribe of the Year, uh, News Anchor of the Year. But when you don't win it, it doesn't mean your career is less successful than when you win it. And some of you are so good at your, your jobs, maybe even better than the ones that actually win the awards for uh, Journalist of the Year and Scribe of the Year uh, or Employee of the Month uh, or the employees that get even salary increases every month. That does, that does not profile you. And that's the same in football. Uh, it's a, a sport that I follow probably not as much as football, but I follow a little bit because there are coaches that I have huge admiration for just as, as leaders and as coaches, and that's basketball. And someone was telling me something the other day that Michael Jordan played 15 seasons. Only six seasons did he win the championship. You want to tell me Michael Jordan was, uh, for the other seasons, how many, what, what was it, nine? You want to tell me all the other seasons Michael Jordan was a failure? So it's the same in football, it's the same. We are going to try our best to win the Champions League. Will we win the Champions League? I don't know. Can we win the Champions League? 100%. Will not winning the Champions League define us as, as failures? Maybe in the eyes of people, but in my eyes, when I look at this group, how we've performed, uh, the con level of consistency, the type of football we've managed to be able to play, even while chasing good results and having the pressure to, for me, that is already a success. But of course, in football, it's, it's results. And we live in a space where we chase perfection, and perfection uh, for, for some clubs is just results. For other clubs that have huge, huge, huge expectations and have connotations that are attached with style and, uh, and a little bit more of, of, of the history, we have to play a certain way while we are trying to maintain good results. Is it easy to do? No, but that's why we are here. And that's why Neo says, when you sign up for Mamelodi Sundowns, that's exactly what you sign to carry. It's the burden that you have to, to carry with the blessing of representing this club. And then uh, what happens with, re with regards to the results is, is uh, in, in God's hands, but we look at ourselves with incredible, incredible appreciation for all the efforts, the hard work, the sacrifices, uh, um, the type of football that we, we, we try to play uh, and, and, and the happiness we try to give to our people. If that is the only thing we can take home, then I think uh, for me that's good enough. Playing good football with no something to show for it it's it's like just playing for for the whole game not even scoring uh, uh we have a objective to actually deliver trophies you know at the end of the day to to the style of play it's actually the reason why i'm here uh, i actually uh, when i signed I, I i was attracted to the football that i play the tradition the skillful the brazilian way and i think that's that's actually a motivation that whether we play away or or, or home we actually make sure that we, we, we keep our standards, you know. Uh, uh, and uh, I, was just, I would just like to say that it, it, it's very good and it's actually very challenging. But then at the end of the day, we have to show for it. We can't just play, we, we need to deliver trophies. That's unfortunate part, fortunate part actually. <laughs> they they saying to, to disabled Brighton, the English Premier League, you can't play this way. 
they said when Pep arrived in the EPL, they said you can't win in the English Premier League this way. <laughs> His biggest challenge will, go, will be going to Stoke on a, on a, on a Saturday, <laughs> on a Tuesday, on a rainy Tuesday. And, and the first time he went to Stoke, <laughs> you know the story. And what joy is there? Uh, in fact, two, two, two things, maybe three. And the third one is probably the most important because it's football. And maybe let me start there. Uh, the, the football is about not playing, playing what you feel, what you want. It's a way of playing. And I've spoken th about this many, many, many years about game model. And everybody says, ah, he's starting with these big bombastic words. But really, ga a game model of a, of, a, of, a, of a team encompasses so many things. It, it's the players you have, the history that the club has, Shushan and Piano. The team is built over many, 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 many uh, transfer periods. It's built to play. It's, it's, that's, that's, that's the profile of the team that I have every single day. And as a coach, as the number one objective is to win. And I have to try to get the best out of the players that I have to ensure that we win. Because it doesn't matter, we can play like a Burnley, and we can play like maybe even Real Madrid or, or PSG with uh, counter-attacks, count and maybe Liverpool, how they won Champions League with transitions and transitions and transitions. And, and maybe that is what helps us to win. And if that's what's going to help us to win, we, we will play that way. So we're not fixated with really, really that. But because it's the game model uh, that encompasses uh, culture, tradition, uh, squad profile, and then, of course, the qualities that we have, technical and, 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 and tactical from, from that type of perspective, that's why we play the way we play. And that's a football answer. But there are two things, maybe life answers. One is I've always been told that the most dangerous answer is we've always done it this way. Imagine, imagine life if, 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 uh, if uh, I don't know who created the cell phone at this moment, but he came and he said, hey, uh, the cell phone. And they said, no, 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 we've always done it, the landline line. No cell phones. Imagine whoever created the tablet came up and said, ah, you know what, there is a, you can have a computer on one screen instead of it flipping and then, and someone said, no, no, we've always done it this way, we've got computers. The evolution of society is dependent on people who try to push boundaries and try to find many other ways of doing things. Because without that, then we sit in a space where it's comfort, and then comfort doesn't breed any growth. So we try uh, as best as we possibly can to, to find ways to challenge ourselves. Like I said, there's three. It's a challenge for ourselves, a challenge for the players. We want to get better, we want to grow, so we try to, to, to go a different way. It's the, it's the road less traveled, but we try. We might get uh, skid marks, we might get bruised and cut along the way, but that is because there was no trail before and we're trying to do it a different way. And because we try to take a different route, it's going to be painful at times. We're going to have to, to, to stretch ourselves over certain uh, barriers and, and pitfalls, and, and we're going to fall because maybe the, 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 the journey is a bit too dark and, and doesn't have a trail that we can follow, but that doesn't mean you don't try. And that's, and that's the type of person that I am. I'm, I'm that type of person. I would like to think that's the personality I try to give to the players, to, to try to play a bit and to try to express themselves and to try to find different solutions in thinking about the game a little bit broader and thinking about different ways to do things. And sometimes uh, it gets me into trouble. It does, because uh, even if you look at my track record as a coach, my teams have never struggled to score goals, but at times we have been also been uh, um, in a way, it's too open to be able to concede. But that's the way that I believe football should be played. And I've, that's how I feel football should be played. It's, it's the feelings that I, I, I bring every day to training. It's the feelings that I try to share individually with my talks to the players. And uh, it's, it's, it's the type of football that I enjoy watching. And, and hopefully we can continue to do that because at the end, our job is to try to win trophies. And that's what we have to always bear in mind. One of, the, one of the greatest privileges of being a Sundowns coach, uh, 
greatest privilege. I said it even on the pitch today, is that I show the players, I talk to the players, and, and they do the best that they can to try to put what I say and, and what I show them on the pitch. It's one of the greatest privileges. So uh, the game belongs to the players. A lot of compliments to them for being coachable, for being tactically incredibly flexible, and then being uh, trusting in the information and the, the, the tactics that we give them because they follow that to the T. So, so incredible, incredible human beings and uh, an, an incredible privilege to be their coach. Yeah, let's start with the positive. The positive is we wish them all the best of luck once they represent the nation. We are all fully behind them. We do whatever we can to support and to, to, to ensure that they, they, they are successful because it represents everybody. Uh, the ambitions of uh, our national teams uh, are the ambitions of all of us and uh, their success is our success. Uh, their failures are our failures because we are all South Africans and we try our level best to make sure that we are successful. Uh, it, it, it means a lot to everybody associated. And, and who is South Africa. The, the Mabena situation, I don't want to get too much into it because uh, part two to, to it is a lot of, uh, is about perspective. And many people says, oh, but uh, being with the national team with the under 17s for a camp and training is far more important than actually playing 15 <laughs> minutes in a PSL match. And if that is the understanding and the undertaking, we have to ask ourselves a lot, a lot of questions about the standard of our PSL football. It's a lot of questions. So when you go into that space, you then have to know what space you are going into because you open up so many, so, so many uh, uh, conundrums that I'm not so sure this is the right platform to address. Having said that, as Sundowns, we will always support the national team. We will always support our players in their endeavors to represent their nations to represent uh, their careers and their families. And uh, we have been, and historically, you, you tell me historically, maybe the last five, six years that I've been uh, involved in football at this type of intensity, you tell me which club has, has released so many players outside FIFA breaks, staff members outside FIFA breaks, in FIFA breaks, you, you tell me which football club has been more supportive to the national cause than Mamalodi Sundowns.